one more video for y'all today, and then we'll uh, just sit down, chillax, rest, relax, whatever. And that is college football, baby. You know, week what four? It's here. It's ready. It's primed up, and it's all wrapped up in a little bow, ready for you to witness and appreciate. <laughs> Um, so, I think the main storylines, we're going to start separating contenders, or pretenders, how, how is that going to feel, you know. Um, but let's just start off with um, a game on Friday, you know, um, you know what I'm talking about, Utah and USC. Um, Utah is a team that I am not really high on because I just don't think the Pac-12 is going to make it out of, you know, well, the play, I don't think Pac-12's going to make it to the playoffs. They're just not. It's been proven. I think the Pac-12's nine-game structure, you know, cannibalizes itself. And that, that's both a good and bad thing, you know, um, that the Pac-12 is just, you know, playing nine conference games and all teams end up losing once or twice or even losing in a non-conference, you know. Um, but, yeah, USC did not look the greatest last week against um, – BYU, and they ended up losing for it. <laughs> really, BYU should have had multiple interceptions, but that's neither here nor there because, you know, it is what it is. Um, but Michigan taking on Wisconsin, that starts off the Saturday slate. Um, Michigan has not looked great in the last, the last couple times we saw them. They have not looked good. They should have lost the Army. They had so many turnovers. Like it's both Army and Middle Tennessee, but here they are, I'm taking on Wisconsin, who hasn't allowed a single point um, at all. So that's going to be very interesting to see Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee taking on Florida, gross. Uh, Michigan State ugh, against Northwestern. Come on now, stop it, stop it. Michigan State just does not look good. Um, let's see what else we got here. What else do we have? Here, looking forward to some more, and here we go. The 3.30 slate, the 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central Time, because I'm a Central Time guy. Nobody cares about the Central Time. <laughs> Why does nobody care? Yeah, the, um, Auburn, Bo Nix, they, they looked okay against Tulane. That was the last time I think I, I heard about Auburn. Against Tulane, uh, they looked okay. They didn't look too well against Oregon until that very last drive. So I'm wondering now that SEC play begins, how does Auburn look? Texas A&M, same thing. You know, they didn't look too good against Clemson. They looked bad. Clemson's defense was just all over them. You know, how are they going to fare? That's going to be a really interesting game. And that starts CBS's day, you know. You know that's just the start of CBS's game slate today, uh, that day. Then, you know, the other game, the other couple of games that look very interesting, you know, Washington taking on BYU. BYU with a big win uh, against USC last week, a big win a couple weeks ago against Tennessee and Washington still reeling. Um, after that loss to Cal, they did bounce back against Hawaii last week. Did you know that Cal's still undefeated? I mean, I get it. They played against, you know, my other school, the school that I actually go to, UNT, and admittedly, the only one by six. That's not that's not the point. Uh, but yeah, Washington. Washington could, could you know, it's gonna be a really good game. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then you know, UCF. How do they fare? You know, Pittsburgh bad last week against Penn State. They, this might be even worse. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Stanford did not look too good against UCF at all. So if it's another 28 to nothing at the the first quarter again, I'm gonna just keep my eyes on Auburn, Texas A and M. And then watch the BYU. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, so the two, all three of these games are very interesting for all the different reasons. Can UCF keep this up? Um, can Pitt score? Can Pitt do anything other than not be completely incompetent? Um, and then, well, not finally, but we still got some more here. Um, here we go. How about Oregon versus Stanford? Now Stanford does not look good. 
the last couple weeks. They lost to USC. They lost to UCF. Oregon, they're still trying to bounce back into that Auburn stunner that they lost to. Um, I think, you know, Herbert, I think, I think Oregon's going to get that W there. You know, not even going even gonna, to, not even going to, you know, bait myself into thinking that Stanford has a chance. Stanford does not look good. But anyway, the night cap, the other two games of the night cap, Oklahoma State, Texas, Georgia, Notre Dame. What a couple of interesting games we have here. Um, obviously, my Longhorns did look great last week against Rice, but that was Rice. Nobody cares about Rice. Um, fuck Rice. Uh, but last couple times, last five times, it's one, two, three, four, five fingers. So for five times, last five times that um, Oklahoma State's come in here and beaten us five straight times. Um, coming to DKR, beating us five straight times. Now, I think that it's going to be a really good game. I think it's going to be a high scoring game like it always is in the Big 12. Um, and I, but I do think, you know, I think that we can pull this off. You know, I really only think that our only loss will will be to LSU. Um, or, you know, we get another loss, but it's to Oklahoma. I really think that's the only that's the only two losses I see on our schedule this year. I'm not even lying with you. Yeah. Uh, we, we may have to split with Oklahoma. I'm not even going to lie. And I'd rather get some revenge in the, in the Big 12 championship. I know that doesn't sound like a – like a feasible option, but have you seen Oklahoma's offense? Have you seen the speed on Oklahoma's offense? I think we could split a game with them. I think we could split two games with them. I don't think anybody else from the Big 12 looks like a credible threat, you know. And Oklahoma State hasn't played anybody. Oregon State does not count. Oklahoma State fans does not count. You know. But anyway, Georgia, Notre Dame, Georgia has not been tested at all. Notre Dame hasn't really been tested at all either, but Notre Dame has a bad rushing defense, and I have really just started to figure that out. Now, um, did not watch the Notre Dame game last week against New Mexico, but apparently Notre Dame did cough up another 200-plus yards on the ground, you know, against Northwestern, uh, not Northwestern, New Mexico's offense. Um, that's going to be a real problem with Georgia, you know, Georgia's running the ball real well. Jake Fromm's playing real well. And I think, you know, it's going to be a barn burner. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to lie to you. It's going to be great to see Notre Dame back on CBS again. Um, even though it's a road game against the SEC team, I think they like that. I think CBS likes that money. I mean, it's going to be a really good game. Not even going to lie to you. Um, so... I don't, I don't know who's going to win that game, to be completely honest with you. Georgia and Notre Dame, it's going to be a really, really tough game to figure out. So, um, with all that, we go to the last couple of games of the nightcap, and it's packed with the dark, baby. It's here, it's ready, and it's all primed up for you. Are you ready? Are you firm for Herm Edwards? Are you firm for him? Are you firm for the Sun Devils? Are you ready? Seed Sun Devils. So that's on the Pac-12 Network. Um, Ten o'clock Eastern, nine o'clock Central, seven o'clock. You know, out there and um, out there in the Pacific, <sighs> Colorado was reeling after a loss last week. The Air Force, you know, Arizona State. You know, they're coming off a pretty big win against Michigan State here, don't they? You know, Michigan State should have another chance, but we're not going to talk about that at all. And then UCLA, oh my God, who put UCLA in a Pac-12 at the dark situation? UCLA is looking like hot trash right now. And Washington State may just, you know, score as many points as Oklahoma did against UCLA. I just do not believe in UCLA right now. They, they're looking pretty, pretty bad. And they need to fix their offense quickly. So... That's gonna be it, you know. You know, you have you have some options. We have we all have some options. It's gonna be some big games. I think there's gonna be some teams that are tested. Whoever wins, whoever loses, you know, it's all gonna be the same, you know. 
Texas has two losses early in the season. Well, then shit, don't really matter to me, you know. Uh, Georgia and Notre Dame, if Georgia or Notre Dame loses, you know, it's going to affect the college football playoff race to a T. More so if Georgia loses, you know, I think. But, yeah, that's all I've got. College football is going to start back up Thursday. The Thursday night games are starting back up for college football, so that'll be Houston to land if it cares about Houston or to land because Houston. Houston's defense looks like boo-boo. Tulane's defense is way better than that. They still lost to Auburn, so that's not even, not even, not even relevant. But yeah, that's all I've got, guys. That's the last video of the day. You guys are the real MVPs for sticking around with me all day long. You know, it's only about one o'clock here. You know, <laughs> I've got a long day ahead of myself. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you all. Saturday night, Sunday morning, you know, maybe Tuesday probably, or, or Wednesday, you know, it might be Wednesday again, who knows, I don't know, but yeah, that's it, peace everybody, see ya.